Oh yeah, so here I am again. That's the part two of uh, do-it-yourself tools and fixing a Toyota Prius third generation uh, battery. Today I'm really happy. Finally I got the cells, the 14 cells I ordered. They are pretty nice labeled and uh, measured and charged and uh, balanced by, uh, by professional equipment. I bought this from a company who's dealing and fixing and repair the kind of stuff. In fact, this is an Auris uh, uh, hybrid battery. The elements are almost like new. And what's nice, that that company also that sent me the new bridges or connections uh, parts. And these are not just simple copper like, like usually. This one are, we call that stained and uh, it's a copper covered by tin, by stanium. So it's a film of tin on this copper. So it will never be ever any problems uh, with oxidation uh, of the contacts and so on. So what I want to do now is to measure with my uh, internal resistance tool, the one I made it, to see uh, if my measurements are matching or at least are in concordance with the ones made by a professional uh, apparatus. Okay, so first of all, now I took off uh, all the screws and I have this uh, very nice tin covered plates. So this will be great. It will be no more oxidation for, uh, for years. And uh, First of all, I want to check the, the voltage, the voltage of the batteries. Okay, let's see with number one. So we got 805. 805, that should be all of them because they've been all uh, tied together for uh, self-balance and uh, 805, that's super, that looks good. Next step, I'm gonna have my internal resistance ready to go in a split of a second. Some power. So this is the circuit I uh, I described in a, in another video, a circuit I made myself. So it uh, is checking the battery with a load of one ohm. That's almost like four amps, and uh, with a with a frequency about uh, 67 hertz. It's applying a load to the battery and uh, the difference between spikes, between peaks, I can, uh, I can later uh, measure in, in millivolts. You see, I'm using this kind of multimeter instead of that one uh, with a self uh, uh, scale, auto scale, let's say. Uh, because this one is much faster when you put it on two volts let's say uh, AC then it goes very fast it's not looking it's not searching uh, like uh, auto scale are doing most of them so uh, I'm using this one because it's moving faster than uh, than auto scale ones okay let's connect this to the load so this one, it's, it's uh, getting in parallel with the battery. In fact, I can measure there to the battery, but I prefer to, to go this way. So we have a plus here. Oh, there are plus everywhere. Right, okay, let me, let me turn it around then it's, it's much easier to have all the wires. Okay, that's it. And if we are here, let's start. So it's minus. Let's start with number one. And uh, number one A, it's saying from the, from the shop, it's saying five you see, I made this kind of uh, this kind of paper worksheet to to see the original 
uh, measurement and then I have mine. So number one it's five milli ohms. Okay. And mine it's giving because I have to divide 0, 8, 8 I have to change it here, you know, the, the decimal point I have to divide this by 10 okay, once again so the LED is on, the, the load is on and I have 0. 0.88 okay, so mine is giving like 8 point 8 point 8 milli ohms 5 is the original 8.8 .8 milli ohms okay let's go to the next one I can say it's 9 I'm gonna write the number the way they are so it's 126 I'm gonna say 126 because I will divide these things later okay back again 086 85 okay this is good let's go to number two number three and power one and okay 105 I'll divide these things later and this one it says 7 milli ohms from the factory we are good till now pretty nice number four this one is say 24 milli ohms originally okay so I got the the battery the car battery out well I didn't show you how to do that because there are a lot of tutorials and uh, good tutorials uh, on YouTube about uh, getting off the Prius uh, generation 3 battery and now it's time to to check the elements and to see if their internal resistance is okay and voltage and so on and then a little bit later I'm gonna replace all the bad ones with these good new ones so let's see how I'm gonna do that okay so everything is dismantled now uh, I did some tests about the internal uh, resistance and uh, I have here uh, some kind of data and that's uh, that's gonna that's gonna show me how to how to put the elements in the battery so that's a good advice to have the best one like internal resistance and uh, capacitance also uh, in the middle why because in the middle it will be more heat than outside so it's exactly what I'm doing now I'm, I'm sorting all these things by the internal resistance and I put them in a proper way so here in the middle you may see I have like uh, uh, 9 ohms and 8 and 4 ohms and 5 ohms also so that's a kind of rule you know put the best ones in the middle okay so the pack is back together you may see that so first of all that's that's a kind of uh, advice uh, I may give it to you so first you have to do the whole pack put it together tied really nice and then put the screws you see the screws but down here they are perfectly perfectly in uh, in uh, the right position so you don't have any problems with, uh, with putting them back so now I'm going to put all the screws together and uh, I may say the first uh, phase. Okay, so all the screws, uh, the back side, the screws are back together and uh, now it's time to have all the connections back. And like I told you, I have this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, connections covered with, uh, with a little bit of tin. It's a huge uh, improvement these are the old ones and look here I have a couple of them they uh, they kind of oxidation this kind of uh, green stuff over there 
but not anymore because the new one are absolutely marvelous. I really recommend if you can if you can find anything like this, just do it. So now it's time to get all the connections back. So everything is back in place, all the connections have been done and uh, everything is looking nice, everything is looking good. Now I have some measurements to do, you know, because, because this, the main fuse, now the battery is split it in two, but I still can have some measurements here. Um, let's try to do that. The multimeter it have to be on 200 volts DC. First of all, I'm gonna have a plus from here, and we should go right here. So, 152 volts. You may see this. One fifty-two. So this is the first pack, let's say, and then I can test from here to the end, to minus, and we have 72.3 volts, and it's perfect, 72.3 volts, I don't know if you see it, okay, so that means everything is okay, the pack uh, is done properly or rebuilt properly and now all I have to do is to put all the wires back together and uh, to put back the temperature sensors we have three temperature sensors here we go with this one and that's the next here Perfect. And now the temperature sensors on cell number one, right here. This we got one in the middle. Should be number 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, not there. Just go here. Alright. And the rest on the end and we have to put all these wires nice okay everything is looking professional nice so well done Okay, so now everything is back on place. Um, I cleaned the fan also. It's very nice and uh, it's running smooth. And uh, as you can see now, the car is charging the batteries. They've been balanced before. Everything is okay here. No smoking <laughs> yet. So it's working properly and then I'm gonna have some tests uh, with Dr. Hybrid to see about uh, about the level of the elements and everything else. For now it's looking very good. This is Dr. Prius. Hello there. So it feels like a really good uh, job but I'm gonna do some tests a little bit later after I put all the screws back and everything on place okay so everything is back in place the battery is looking really good uh, I have uh, a low voltage on uh, cell or element number 10 it's cell number 10 let's say but it's very close to the others so 
shouldn't be a problem. First phase, charging the batteries. Like I said, I'm using Dr. Hybrid, so the voltage is going up to 123. Okay, let's do it. And they accept the charge. 62% now. 72, that's nice. So, to do this, you have to put the car in drive and you have to press the, the brake pedal. So, a little bit more now. Okay, 100%. Now you have to put it on reverse. Turn on the headlights. Okay, I'll do that. Reverse. Turn on the headlights and have some extra power. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's not enough. <laughs> it's really not enough. I can't do the test. Okay, air conditioning. Uh, okay, let's put some heat on. Mm -hmm. So I put some heat on to, uh, to have this uh, 5 amps. fog lights and there we are okay this is gonna take a long time I'll be back at the end still running great 570 seconds to the end of the test Wait. 360 seconds to the end so that's the battery status after more than six minutes of testing so look there they are really really strong still running I like it 190 seconds to go so 130 seconds or something to the end of the test the batteries are looking really really good it's half over there so still running great 40 seconds to the end of the test I love this you know let's see what's happening at the end after 800 seconds more than 10 minutes okay so it's almost complete just wait I'm waiting there is still some life in the batteries that's nice two bars okay so finally done the first test the first charging the first discharging so the battery is night one point thirty five percent of capacity ah that's really nice I really like it. That's the end of the video and I hope it helps you to repair, to fix your batteries and and if you have any question don't hesitate to email me